The Evolution of Play, A Pillar of Conscious Existence. Part 1. Evolution of Play on Earth. Evolution is slow and complex, but each trait evolved at some point. A fascinating example is play. While play evolved in fish and birds too, let's focus on mammals. When did play evolve in mammals? Play has ancient roots in mammalian evolution. It began as a basic tool for honing life skills and later evolved to foster social bonding and cognitive growth. Lower play abilities first emerged around 190 million years ago in the earliest mammals. These small nocturnal creatures engaged in simple physical play, chasing, pouncing, and, and wrestling. This aided in developing coordination and reflexes. Today, animals like squirrels, kangaroos, and hedgehogs continue to embody these lower play abilities. Even cows, especially young calves, demonstrate the universality of play, prancing and headbutting with a joyful exuberance that echoes their ancient ancestors. Higher play abilities evolved later, around 80 million years ago. As mammals with larger brains and more complex social structures began to diversify, play was an integral part of the process. Carnivores like wolves and cats fostered cooperative hunting and group cohesion. Elephants added emotional depth to play with intricate social interactions. Primates took it to unparalleled heights. Among primates, play fosters problem solving, establishes social hierarchies, and even includes creative role playing. From the playful wrestle of a squirrel to the imaginative antics of a chimpanzee, Play reminds us that even the most light-hearted behaviors have profound evolutionary significance. Part 2. Do Aliens Play? Now, let's finish this video by exploring play as a possible pattern to evolution and a foundational element of existence for conscious beings. In Chapter 25 of 30 Philosophers, I take a fresh look at Spinoza's complex world of monism, bridging spirituality, science, and evolution. As a thought experiment, I consider convergent evolution, like play on Earth, as a potential blueprint for life across the cosmos. Here's your first takeaway. Play evolves frequently throughout evolution, suggesting a deeper pattern to existence. It hints at an underlying order and meaning woven into the fabric of evolution itself. Could the forces shaping life on Earth reflect a universal template for existence? In Chapter 25 of 30 Philosophers, I introduce my material spiritual framework to explore the raw material world and possible levels of spirituality. While we know animals on Earth play, if aliens exist, do they play too? Play is likely not just a behavior, it's more likely to be a glimpse into the deeper patterns of existence itself. On Earth, it's everywhere and evolved on various evolutionary branches. On Earth, mammals play, even cows, birds too, and reptiles, and yes, even fish. When traits evolve independently, it's called convergent evolution. The repeated emergence of play is an example of recurrent evolution, suggesting it is not random. It's essential, helping life connect, learn, and grow. But is it just natural selection at work, or does it point to something greater? Could the forces shaping life on Earth reflect a universal blueprint? I use the material spiritual framework to examine how physical and metaphysical forces intertwine to answer profound questions about existence. As a thought experiment, consider convergent evolution on Earth. Is recurrent evolution on Earth a glimpse into the blueprint for life across the cosmos? Could traits like play, sight, and hearing be part of a universal language for adaptability and connection? If so, play might not just be an earthly quirk. It has the potential to be a universal expression of one of life's deeper purposes. I'm Michael Allen Prestwood. If you enjoyed this take on evolution, please like and subscribe. To explore ideas like these, check out my book, 30 Philosophers, a new look at timeless ideas. Available everywhere. Get your copy today.